3205 Rosalie. Low traffic is part of the street. The houses are pretty nice. Seem well kept. It's quiet, no highway noise. And both neighbors are well kept. The left one's a little bit nicer than the right. This is our driveway. It actually goes all the way back around the house to a garage. It's getting really tight to squeeze getting in the garage, but the roof looks good. I got closer up pictures. No damage visible. It looks fairly new. The shingles look fairly new. And the siding is in good shape over here, as well as the rest of the house. The driveway goes back. Here's the only crack in the foundation I see. And this is locked. I'll go back through the house to look at the backyard. On this side. Roof is the same, looks fairly new, great condition, as well as the siding. And as you see some of the concrete flaking off. Um, doesn't look like anything major. They covered some crack up here. Front walkway, in good shape. Stairs in the porch need a little bit of work. Front door is in good shape. Walk in, this is the living area. Nice size living room. All the walls are stucco, but they're all in pretty good shape. Not a lot of cracks, a few small ones here and there. That opens up to the dining area here. And small kitchen. Off to this side, which could be opened up to the dining area, make it a little bigger. Right now it's very small. And that's the door to the basement. And there's a little back porch. This was an addition. Storm windows. Feels pretty sturdy. Yeah, I am going to go down there one last time. Okay. Thank you. Two bedrooms and a full bath on this floor. Both bedrooms are good size, and again, the walls are in good shape. You've got this whole floor with newer looking windows in good shape. There's only two wooden ones upstairs. Walls and ceilings look pretty good. And medium small closet in both the bedrooms. There's the other bedroom. Here's the plumbing. It looks good. And the full bathroom. Toilet straight back. And 
tile's not in bad shape. All the all the floors feel very level. I don't notice anywhere throughout this the whole house. Maybe the basement a little bit, but throughout the whole house, it's a very level floors. That's it for this floor. Upstairs. I actually got it drywalled. Needs a little finishing touches, but most of the drywall is up here and looks pretty good. Ceiling heights questionable. It's pretty comfortable for me to walk around up here. There's two small areas that point out. It's just storage, really can't do anything with those. There's a nice big area up here. And last is the basement and the backyard and the garage. The basement has nice tall ceiling heights. It's finished right now on this side and all wood paneling. A little bit of water damage along the uh, baseboard trim, but it feels uh, very dry down here now. The living area and bar. And then straight back is utilities. Straight here to the left is the toilet plumbed in. Newer looking gas boiler, all good looking copper. Hot water heater, no rust, and copper coming off of it looks good. There's a sump pump, I think that was added, and it looks like the original drain system. 100 amp panel, looks in pretty good shape. Said it's been termite treated. Here's your little uh, porch off the back of the kitchen. Sometimes you can see it looks like it's leaning or it looks sketchy. It looks pretty good. Uh, although these supports under here don't look too, uh, they look a little concerning. Might need a little work on the porch. It's a nice sized backyard. Backs up to neighboring houses. No commercial stuff back here. Fences in good shape. So all the roof looked good and the siding on the back is all in good shape. And it's a good sized garage. Concrete needs some work back here. Like I said, the driveway comes all the way back down here. You could potentially pull in your garage. It'd be a tight squeeze though. 